Hello everyone, I welcome to Timing Apple live action. So starting out good news, we finally have a dedicated camera to do stuff like this instead of having to use our phones and it's usually kind of iffy whether or not we can get them off. Rest in peace 2017 New Year's video. Yeah. Hopefully I can fix that soon. But anyway, or do something. No coming else. back from it. Do, do something that at least like covers some of the stuff. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this. Um, unfortunately, the first video that we're doing with our new camera isn't exactly the happiest of occasions. So, uh, to, at the time of recording, the date is March 25th of 2018, which, if uh, a lot of people probably already know this by now, is the last day you can add funds to the Wii Shop channel. I don't really know if they actually call it the Wii eShop or just the Wii Shop channel, but anyway... Um, if you don't know, the Wii had a, uh, digital distribution service, but, uh, for the first part of its life, mostly focused on making old, uh, Nintendo games and some other third-party games, uh, from systems like the NES, SNES, N64, as well as, uh, the Genesis Turbo Graphics, Neo Geo, and, uh, Master System, I think was the last one, and, um, uh, that service launched alongside the console, and uh, uh, starting tomorrow, you will no longer be able to add funds to it. It's not going to shut down tomorrow, but without the ability to add funds and buy things, it might as well be, might as well be shut down. Um, I guess like, it's not going to shut down until uh, January of 2019, they're saying. I guess this is just like a period of time, so that way you can actually get all the stuff that you have bought put onto your system before they take it away completely. Um, but essentially this is like the last day that it's actually going to be useful. I myself spent the better part of yesterday trying to get, you can't really see them very well on the camera, but I got like a, as many, as much stuff as I could off of it before it shut down. But, uh, I didn't want to talk too much. I, the, the point of this video was mostly to sort of share a story about it. I've, most people have probably talked about like the significance of this to death. I might cover it, but I just mostly wanted to talk about, uh, something with me so uh the Wii came out in November of 2006 uh me Brett and Dylan were all in junior high at the time I believe we're in eighth grade yes. and um uh, I was the I I remember being I don't even know what adjective to describe how excited I was I was really really excited for the Wii coming out and at the time I was subscribed to Nintendo Power, and this issue, this is the December issue, I believe, so I got it in November, like right before the Wii came out. I thought I had it longer than that, but I guess not. Um, I kept this in my backpack every day since I got out, and it had, this was the issue that had the launch guide for the, yeah, that address isn't good anymore, so I don't care if that shows up on camera, but um, this had the launch guide for the Wii, so it, uh, talk, oh, it gave an overview of what came in the box and what would be available at launch and stuff. And there was one page dedicated to the Virtual Console, which honestly is probably the feature about it I was most excited about. I didn't really start playing games until the GameCube, so there were a lot of games, of course, prior to that on the previous three systems that I had never even touched, but really wanted to play. So this was finally going to give me an opportunity to play games like Super Mario 64, the original Legend of Zelda, Super Metroid, Paper Mario, Kirby 64, a lot of games that I missed out on that I really wanted to play. And um, there's actually, I had the other issue here, I didn't realize this, but this issue actually had the full list of games that were gonna be available at launch. There was only 31 games available at launch for the Virtual Console when it came out. And uh, something else that was interesting about this is that uh, when I was reading, going over this before the video, they actually had plans to do uh, original digital games for the service, basically from the beginning, but a little bit on that uh, later, but most people probably don't know about WiiWare. But yeah, it started out with 31 games, and um, basically now it's, well, for the coming years that it was active, until now, it probably had the big, it ended up having the biggest selection of retro games that you could get off of an official, like, legal service that wasn't pirating, that I think of, that I can think of, at least of Nintendo stuff, and Genesis. Um, not even the, the Wii U and the 3DS sort of tried to do something like this, but it never matched the library 
of the variety and library that the Wii's had. And uh, it's kind of, it's just, thinking back to that, it's just really sad that it's finally, uh, they're putting the axe to it. And everyone is hoping that the Switch will somehow follow in its footsteps, at least with the terms of variety, because like, when I, was, when I was doing research on what I needed to get off of it, there was like no Square Enix RPGs on the Wii U or 3DS available, except for Tactics, the Game Boy Advance Tactics. That was it that was available on the Wii U. But uh, the Wii had, the Wii's shop channel had Final Fantasy 1, 4, and 6, Mystic Quest, Chrono Trigger, Secret of Mana, you know, all the good ones. Um, so for me, since that was like the most excited feature about the console when it came out, it's just kind of sad knowing that it won't be available much longer. And what's actually extra sad, I didn't really pay much attention to this side of it as much as I probably should have. But uh, eventually, it did start having its own unique games come out for it. They were only available on it. And some of them were did make it to other consoles. Like some of... Um, I'm trying to remember. Uh, there's Tales of Monkey Island. I think there was a Tales of Monkey Island that was available on WiiWare, which is what they called their original games. Uh, but I think that made it to other consoles. But there's a lot of games on the WiiWare that never made it off there. There was only available on there. And that's just kind of sad thinking about... All those games that will at least not legally be obtainable anymore. Uh, from what I was able to find, there aren't too many good ones, but there were some good ones. And I tried to get a few of them, there as much as I could, but there's only so much I can do. But it's it's just sad to think about, because I don't think it was... I'm pretty sure it wasn't the first digital distribution thing, but it was definitely one of the earliest. I don't remember if 360 came out with their Marketplace, because the 360 was out for a year before the Wii came out, so I'm pretty sure they had their Marketplace set up by then. But, um, this is probably at least one of the oldest ones, oldest uh, distribution systems that is still going on. And now that it's shutting down, it kind of makes you a little scared about some of the other ones, like, how long will the 360 be supported? How long will the PS3 be supported? Which is one that I'm really scared about, because I have a lot of games uh, claimed on my PS, uh, PSN account for PS3. Well, I'm sure this has been talked about in other people's videos, but it just, there's just been a lot of closures this year, it seems. Demon Souls went out, Toys R Us is going out, uh, there was something else, now I can't remember what it was. So far this year, or the past year? Uh, this year, mostly. Although Miiverse did go down, like, at the end of last year, so that's another thing that went down. Regardless, it just seems like that now is the time that a lot of old things are shutting down. It's just all happening at once. The future is now, old man. It just make it kind of makes you scared. I do like what Xbox. I I do want to give some props to Xbox. I don't do this a lot because I'm not really that big of an Xbox person. But I do want to give some props to Xbox. They're at least trying to keep their old library alive with their backwards compatibility. Because of course. Uh, they recently started doing Xbox One. Oh, damn it. The original Xbox... I can't call it Xbox One anymore. Original Xbox backwards compatible. And there's actually a lot of games that I missed out on there that I wanted to play that are now going to be available for years to come because now they're actually playable on the Xbox One. I'm hoping that if uh, PlayStation releases a new console anytime soon, they do a better job of maybe making their back catalog playable. And uh, hopefully Nintendo will be doing something soon with theirs. But, yeah, going back to the point of this video, uh, the shop channel was probably, I was also excited about Twilight Princess, don't get me wrong, there were a bunch of games on the Wii that I wanted to play, but that, the fact that I was able to actually finally go back and play some games that I had missed out on, um, was really exciting for me at the time, and still is, um, because of it I was able to finally play Ocarina of Time, Paper Mario, uh, I beat Legend of Zelda, Super Metroid, and a few others, and um, hopefully a lot of these games that will be lost will will be lost for very long. Hopefully, may, maybe Nintendo will uh, move some of those games onto the Switch. We can only wait and see, but uh, yeah, I hope that every all of y'all that were interested were able to get everything y'all wanted on there. Um, it's just. I guess it's just a little disappointing, but it's inevitability that we kind of have to prepare for with some of these Woo! things. Are you trying to make the video a bit more upbeat? Yeah. <laughs>
Like I said, it wasn't. This wasn't going to be the happiest video. Like this isn't one I'm making for views and stuff. I just wanted to All share. All we do is make happy stuff. I wanted to share something that like is actually bringing me down a bit. I don't. Oh. And there's Dylan. But anyway, uh, we're uh, we can stop talking about that now. Um, just. We just gotta look towards the future, I guess, and buy a bunch of hard drives to make sure that all of your digital stuff doesn't go away into the ether. Play like Monster Hunter World. I'm going to do. Fine. Now this video is about Monster Hunter. I do want to say <laughs> that I'm going to try to be making some more non-Monster Hunter content soon. Try. Now that I have this camera, I have some ideas. Actually, go ahead and uh, whoever watches try. this, <laughs> you let me know. Will. Brett, shut Will. up. Let me know what y'all want to see that we can do live action, that maybe, like, more discussions about stuff going on with games or whatever. Why do we have to fight? Not, we do live action either. Monster Hunter. <sighs> Just tell us what you want to see in the comments. Yes. We are going to be making more Monster Hunter stuff, definitely, but I, I'm going to try to also make some other stuff. Army decorations. All right, that's enough with this downtrodden, sad video. Goodbye, everyone. Yeah, fuck off. Good night.